it's Ashley at Court Reserve. So we went over the general tab settings, and now it's time to talk about the home page. You can almost think about the home page as the welcome page and the anonymous sales and marketing page that we had previously in Court Reserve. You are going to design rows and you are going to attach those rows to different pages. So pages are made up of rows and depending on who you want to see those rows depends on all of the settings that we're going to do here. So you can see I've made several rows. Here are the names of the rows. You can actually drag and drop these rows in order. The display type, this means who gets to see that row. So for your welcome page, for your hero page, for your players, you're going to probably want those to be just logged in users only. For your anonymous users, well, those are your potential members, potential players at your club. So that will be things like summer membership or join now, a registration page, why they should join your organization. So here on the home page, you'll see here, this is actually the rows that we have put on the home page. Now, anytime you want to see a preview of what you have attached or added to your home page, you can click here on the yellow preview button. So you can see this top page or top row, I should call it, this is called the hero row. This is a picture with buttons that I'll go over with you shortly. And then this next row, this is called the news row. So if you want to write little news articles or things, you know, to keep your players up to date. Now this is a content row right here. It simply means I have a background of color and just content here. Content can also include a picture. This is the announcements, our global announcements feature that you're probably familiar with, and I'll show you where this fits with more. This is the hero row because this includes our call to action buttons and an image. This next row is the news row. Again, this is a, just a simple content row to break up the space. So we can add color here and that's what kind of gives the, the break. And then we've got our announcements and we've got our footer here at the bottom. And then our header is up here at the top with all of our links. So if we jump back over to our website settings, I also want to show you the anonymous or sales and marketing. Now remember in settings, and if you scroll all the way down to portal settings setup, this is where you can go in and this is your portal link. You can right click and open your link in an incognito window and you will be able to see your anonymous page or your sales and marketing page for those potential players, potential members. So again, you get to come in. This is our hero row, which includes an image and a call to action button. I have actually done a join now, which leads us over to the court reserve, the registration page that you can create. And if we pop back over, this is a content row, just a little summer membership. This is just another content row that I have used um, with a Canva image. Canva is an easy tool that you can build with pictures and images and, and things like that. And then this is the news row as well. So if we scroll back up here at the top, Pick a membership again. Well, this is part of uh, the Court Reserve platform that if you have multiple memberships, then you can actually come in and show which memberships are public to allow people to join. And then you can also have, this is a create account button. Again, this leads you over to the registration page. And either way, you can have people uh, sign up and complete your registration page and pick a membership as well. So when you go in to create a row, you have to think about what the row is going to do and which it's which hero page or which page it's actually going to go to. So let's create one together. So the first thing that you need to create is a hero page. Again, you've seen this. This is where the players will log in and this is what they'll see. So we've titled it here and the type is the hero page. And then we are just going to display this row on the logged in users only. This is just for our current players. Now we do have three call to action buttons. We've got book a trainer, book a core, join our team. And then this is the URL. So this is actually the page link that's gonna, when they click that button, it's gonna go directly to them. 
Again, you can use custom scheduler pages. So if you have certain courts, you could do book a tennis court, book a pickleball court, um, sign up for a lesson, join our team, all kinds of information here. Now let's talk about buttons. So the call to action buttons, if you want a contained button, this just simply means that the button is contained with the color. So we've chosen white here, and then the button text color is the button example. You can kind of see that here. If we wanted it outlined, well, that's not really gonna work with white and black, but again, you can come in here and choose to do a red button color. So if we go red, apply that here, you can kind of see the difference here. And I'm gonna pop back over and change this back to white and then put it back as contain. Now, when you upload a hero image, it's quick and easy. Um, you do need to have the image on your computer. Um, once you click here, you'll bring up your images and I'll just go in and do this for you again so you can quickly see how easy this is. When it uploads, you'll hit confirm. Now, header and subheader, well, this just means you can place text on your image and I will show you on the anonymous hero page what that looks like. So we're gonna quickly go back and go back to website settings. So once you've created your hero page for your logged in players, then you can click on the preview button and you can see here, I've got my hero image at the top and my three call to action buttons, okay? Now you can actually click on those as I just did, but we can actually jump over to the player portal and you can see those three call to action buttons here. We've got book a trainer. This just leads me over to um, information about our trainers at our organization. And then book a court. Again, you can use your custom schedulers, um, but these can be any call to action buttons or you don't have to use them at all. So let's pop back over. Now, we also, if you allow new players or new members to join your club, well, we also need a hero page for those anonymous users as well. So again, I've come in and titled it. Um, it's a hero page and my anonymous users only. I'm just doing one button, one call to action button here. Here's my image. And then here I've included a header and a subheader. And the divider just means um, it divides the information, these two text fields here. And I'll show you what that looks like um, when we go back over to our anonymous page. So this is the anonymous hero row. Um, and you can see here the image, and then this is the header, this is the divider, and then this is that subtext with that one call to action button. So now that you have the top of your pages, now you can choose what to add to the rest of your page. So again, if you'll look here on the home page, we've got some are for the anonymous pages or for those people that players that don't, you know, they're not a member of your club yet. The others are for your logged in players. Now you also get to sort. So if we see here, we've got our hero sales and marketing for just anonymous users. We've got a summer membership special. So this is just a content row. Easy, let me show you how I did this. This is just the title. The type is content, anonymous users only. And I'm just using the background color of white and just doing some bold text here in the middle um, for this as well. And then we come back over and we have another row for our anonymous users, and that is our summer membership special. We've got a join us column, so let's take a look at this. Again, it's just a content row, but I've gone in and in the Canva that I use for um, creating marketing and social media pages, I've just created, this is an image that I've uploaded, but I've also used a background color to match my image as well. So now let's pop back over. And then that would be all for our anonymous. So again, when we go over to the anonymous page, you're building row by row. So this is your hero row. Then this is that next content row. This is the additional content row. And I've also added news here as well. So let me show you where to do that. So you can see that news is a row that's here. I have added it for all. And I've also, indicated here that I only want the top news story. So anytime you make a new news story, if you have one, then it's only going to populate that one. If you have, you know, more than one, then it'll populate two or four. So let me show you here. If I put in three and click save and we pop back over and refresh our page, 
you'll actually see it's the top two because I'm running out of room. And if we click view more, then it would take us to the news page and you could read three news stories. Anytime you create a row, whether it's here when you click the green create or whether you create it on the row tab, if you want it on the home page, you have to click add and put on the home page. Then you can also sort how you want it to preview on that page. Again, if I click my row tab, you can see all of the rows I have created. You can edit and delete them. Again, if we're talking about our home page, let's also review what we're showing to our logged in players. So we've got our hero page here, our hero row. And then we've also got um, content for personal training here for logged in users and announcements as well. So if we go to click on our player portal, Here's our hero row with call to action, our news stories, because remember we changed it to three. And then this is just a content row. The content row is here, um, but we also have our global announcements showing here. Now, global announcements, if you come back up to my account and go over to website settings, and if you'll remember in the first video under general, you get to decide if you want your global announcements to be hidden or if you want them to show in the header. And of course the header, um, we'll talk about that more in another video. But again, when you're looking at your player portal, all of this at the top is your header and all of this at the bottom is called a footer. So we don't want our global announcement to show up in the header. We're just gonna show any new global announcement on the welcome page. And remember, the global announcement has not changed. So if you come over to settings, and go up to organization settings over to your global announcement. Anytime you make a global announcement, if you want it to show on that welcome page, you need to check this box here. If you create a row for your player page or your anonymous and sales and marketing page, and you don't want it on there anymore, if you click delete here, it's, it's just gonna delete it off the page. It's not gonna delete your row. Your row will still exist here and also still exist over here. But again, it takes it off of that homepage so you can continue to keep your content fresh and up to date.